Good morning everybody and welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Today is a Monday and Mondays have such a negative connotation to them. I wish all of you luck for your work week. If Mondays were a color, they would be blue. Regardless, welcome back to another video. I'm actually really excited to film today. Not for any reason other than the fact that I just love you guys. As I'm currently filming this video, I have 730 thousand subscribers. Do you guys understand how insane that is? I told myself this year that I was really gonna put a lot of time and effort into my channel, into shorts, into my TikToks. I want to give you guys maximum effort. I've been doing that for the past like week and a half since January started. And there's 40,000 more of you. I have to perform. Just kidding. I hope you don't expect a performance though. For those of you that have been here know the drill. It's very chill around here. We go for FaceTime call vibes. I make these videos so I don't have to hang out alone and so you don't have to hang out alone. We keep each other company. This is the most random way I could start a video, but I bought a water pick. I hate flossing. I'm someone who has two options when they go to the dentist. I can either lie and say I floss every day, twice a day, and they're gonna know, or I'm honest about it and I feel judged. To fix the issue, I bought a water pick. I don't know how to use it. It came in the mail this morning and I really want to try it out. One second, I'm gonna fill this up with water. Okay, it came with two heads. I'm not sure what the difference is. I picked one. That's intense. mirror. Is this why men's mirrors are always so dirty? My mouth is kind of numb after that. Well, I tried something new this morning. Fellow water flossers, I'm gonna need help with this one. You better stop! something to say there but I don't I'm a lights girl I can't be in my house if I don't have the lights on unless it's nighttime I can only have ambient lighting I know it seems really bright in here like I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks like it's really bright I promise you it's not as bright as you think so I'm gonna turn some lights on it's Monday morning what do we have going on nothing Shocker. I should probably make my greens. Everyone on TikTok says that these don't actually do anything, and they probably don't. So is it even worth me trying to have them? It's the Bloom Greens. Apparently the amount of this that's actually good for you is very small. I'm sorry, I thought my camera was recording. It wasn't, but I just put a scoop of this into here and put the water. I need to mix it up now. Does it do anything? Half of TikTok says yes, half says no. Who are we supposed to believe? Trembling and coffee. I've been getting better about rinsing this off right away, that way nothing sticks to it and it's not nasty. Do you think it's better if I chug it or use a straw? Oh, I was being dramatic. I kind of want to show you guys what a day of choosing to be 1% better looks like. I don't know if me drinking these greens made me 1% better. I want to make choices today that are going to make me 1% better instead of 1% worse. I'm carrying that with me all of 2023 and then every year after that. But hopefully it becomes subconscious. The goal would be to eventually just do those things subconsciously without it having to take so much effort. We're in the very beginning, so it's still very much so taking effort and denying our old ways of thinking. But you guys have taught me that I also need to have patience and grace with myself. And everything I've been doing has really helped me a lot. I feel better, I feel so, I feel so good. Hold on. Oh, here's a good example. You're gonna get so annoyed with me because this is probably such a basic thing that most people do. If you've struggled with depression, anxiety, or even if you just have bad habits, I just used this glass, right? I rinsed it out in the sink. And in the past, I would do this. Oof and let it sit there for like a week. Can you guess what we're gonna do? We're putting it in the dishwasher. I made a crab boil last night and this whole dishwasher smells like garlic. I have to make 
make sure it starts. It's working. Before we continue on with this video, I need to say a huge thank you to Flip Shop for sponsoring this video. Flip is the best new beauty app. It's like an exclusive club that offers a premium shopping experience for beauty, easy returns, white glove customer service, and an elite rewards program that saves you up to 30% on every single order. It's like having Sephora's products, TikTok's reviews, Amazon's fast shipping, and YouTube's supportive community all in one place. It's your ultimate one-stop beauty shop. Flip lets you shop from honest TikTok style reviews from real users of the product. Every review on Flip is verified and authentic, which is unlike most other websites that use fakes and bots. And Flip has an unrivaled beauty rewards program. It rewards you even when you do not buy anything. You literally make money by scrolling, shopping, voting, or even posting your own review. Earn rewards that save you up to 30% off of your purchase. And that is something you're not going to see at Sephora or Ulta. These are two of the products that I've gotten from Flip recently. The first is the Pacifica Rosemary Apple cider scalp detox tonic I've been having scalp issues for a while it's nice seeing people honestly speak about a product before purchasing it when I buy something I want to know that other people have had a good experience with it flip makes that so easy after a few reviews I was sold and this right here ta -da, ta -da. and the other is this Olaplex bond maintenance clarifying shampoo people in their reviews were not lying this stuff is so good I literally love this stuff and I've loved it for a while my hair feels so soft when I use this right now I have gel in my hair when I wash it out with this my hair is gonna be so soft and so clean so when I saw people's reviews on this it just sold me that I needed to get it even more what are you waiting for up your shopping beauty game with flip download the flip app today for free or go to flip.shop slash Samantha Joe and save 30% off your first order with code Samantha Joe once again a huge thank you to flip for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it let's pop a squat <laughs> I'm doing the no fast food for 30 days. We know this already. Because of that, I've realized I only really ever leave my house to get food, which is so pathetic. Something about Nashville that I've learned is a lot of the hobbies that people have here in Nashville just don't align with me. Around here, people drink. People hike. Do not sign me up for a hike. I genuinely don't really know what else people do for fun. I already knew that I don't really have any hobbies or anything that I like to do just for fun here other than going to coffee shops and there's coffee shops anywhere. That was a big factor in my decision to move back to St. Pete. If you missed that update, I'm gonna keep updating you guys so you're not shocked. I am moving back to St. Pete at the end of April. I'm really excited about it. I miss the beach. I just feel like I don't feel the need to keep moving around anymore. I just like St. Pete, and that's where I want to be. I already got an apartment there, so it's not even stressful. Wait, how did I get so far off of my main point? The point being, since I started this no fast food challenge, I haven't really left my house a ton, and I also haven't binged. Knock on wood. I did start Vyvans, which can help with that. I'm less than a week into starting Vyvans, and I haven't binged since the 5th and it's the 16th. That's 11 days! Which for those of you that don't struggle with binge eating, probably seems like nothing. My eating disorder the past year was so bad. And just because I'm doing good right now doesn't mean that it's gone. I've definitely had spells where I don't binge as much for a few months at a time. This past year, I binged so bad. I would say almost once a day, which is also why I gained 20 pounds last year. But that's okay. Hopefully this medicine continues to help and I can get some relief in all different aspects of my life. My goal today is to leave the house and find something small to do, preferably something that I can bring Duncan with me, just so I'm not sitting here the whole day. Would you look at my baby? Baby boy. Bitch, back the fuck up. Baby boy. <laughs> Nobody's coming to kill us. It was just the Amazon man. It's two or three o'clock. I've been editing. I will not be leaving my house today, and that is a-okay. I'm not finished working yet. I'm taking a break because my sushi <laughs> kit has arrived. On my series, I made sushi, and I didn't have I didn't have what you needed to make sushi. So I ordered a kit on Amazon because I really like sushi. And it comes with so much. A sushi knife. I think this is the roller. Oh! I wonder what that's for. I think this is for avocado. I don't feel bad getting stuff from my kitchen because I'm literally cooking all the time now. So you put it in here and you... <gasps> okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Look at this. Oh shit! Oh shit! Chopsticks. 
There's these little cat figurines. On the Amazon page, I think they said they bring good luck. I'm so excited. Genuinely, this series has made me realize how fun cooking at home can be. It's also kind of time consuming, unless you meal prep, which I kind of unknowingly did because I made enough chili the other day for an army. I've been living off of chili, essentially, but how fun. Okay, I'm not done editing yet. That's why I hate this time of the year. It gets dark so fast that by the time you finish work or by the time you finish anything, it's dark outside. I don't know about you, but that's kind of depressing. I want to do things when it's not dark. But here we are. It's three o'clock. I'm way behind. I usually have these videos edited in the morning. I couldn't this morning, so zone it in. I want to be done by five and then we can have our evening together. Side note, ever since I started the no fast food challenge, I haven't been drinking soda. I know I'm saying that with a can of Diet Dr. Pepper in my hand, but this is my first one. I'm still choosing Diet Dr. Pepper even though I don't have prosmia anymore, which is still mind blowing to me. My taste and smell is normal again. I don't know how that happened. The only thing I did was ingest a massive amount of red pepper flakes. I don't think I can safely tell you to do that. I know everybody is always so curious what influencers actually do when they say they're working. I'm gonna be the first to say this is the best job ever, especially for the past couple years. It hasn't been that much work besides Vlogmas where I have to post a video every single day. But I do know a lot of people that do this that genuinely do work quite a bit. I would say like a normal amount of hours. I wanna work more, I wanna work harder. This is a glimpse into what I do. In case you're curious, this morning I woke up and answered some emails, a very easy task. I'm currently filming my series, so I had to film my breakfast. I started this video, then I grabbed my iPad, did my thumbnail for the video that I posted today, which was my last video, a day in my life at home, even though that's exactly what this video is. <laughs> It's, it's actually fine. And for the past few hours, I've been sitting right here with my table tray. I go back and forth where I like to work, whether it be downstairs, upstairs, in my office, wherever. I'm editing my TikTok and short and stuff that has to go up for day nine of no fast food for 30 days. When I'm done with this, I will post my videos, film me making dinner. I'll have some me time for a couple hours. And after that, I'll edit the video that you're watching right now because it's due tomorrow. I have to edit this tonight. That way I can submit it to the brand tomorrow. And then I have to edit the TikTok in the short for tomorrow. That's what today looks like. And pretty much most days, especially when I'm uploading every single day. I'm under new management now and I'm doing a lot more. Recently, I've been having a lot of podcast meetings, brand calls. There's a lot of little things behind the scenes that I feel like like I've never shown. A lot of people don't show it. Since I'm trying to be more productive and work more, it takes up a lot more of my time. It does seem like I have a more normal schedule where I'm working most of the day. So hopefully you like nighttime content. That is when I'm gonna have time to vlog. Okay, I keep getting distracted. I really need to just finish this video. <laughs> Take a glance out my windows. It's dark. My editing took way too long. It's actually like 8 p.m. I finished editing and I said, you know what? I need to do something fun that I've been wanting to do, that I've been putting off. I want to play with my pottery yeah. wheel. Oh no. You need a screwdriver. This is why she keeps me around. <laughs> like what is this stuff? Oh my God. It has a pedal. The reason I felt confident getting this specific pottery set is because the example pottery that they have on this box looks very attainable. That couldn't be worse than what it is. Yeah, I was, I'm actually kind of shocked <laughs> that they put those on the cover. I think they just want kids to have realistic expectations. That's good. They should start there. Pedal on the ground. Shit's getting real. Look at this. I'm a professional. This is what I do. You know how they always dip their hands in water? Duncan was kind of disappointed. He thought it was a water bowl. Fuck! Uh, you know, Fuck. Why am I covered in clay already? There was a whole direction book that I'm just not listening to. Ew. That's suspicious. Here we go. How am I ever gonna be a cook when I can be a potist? How do you know when it's time to put your fingers in? Shut the front door, that's a pot. No! 
wait a damn minute. Wait a second. Why does it sound like that? Yes. It's the sound that it makes when you just took a poop and you realize you have no toilet paper and you have to get up and go to the to the underneath the cabinet. That's the butt cheek sound. This is hard. I thought this would help relieve my stress and it's just making me feel inadequate. That's a pot. I think it's better than the one on the box. How do I save it forever? Damn it. I'm gonna be that one girl. This is how she does her TikToks. <laughs> Shut up! Wait, this is beautiful! Wait, this is so cute! A full circle moment, we've made it back to my bathroom. I think it's like one in the morning. I hung out with Sam for a while and then I made dinner and edited. I told myself I was gonna prioritize my skincare this year. So even though I wanna go to sleep, I decided I'm gonna do face mask. I also feel like annoying you for a little bit longer, so you're stuck with me. I'm gonna wash my face first. I'm not an esthetician, so I cannot tell you what face wash to use. But I feel like this brand is safe. I've seen a bunch of different people use it. I don't know about you guys, but I've been actually really enjoying just spending my days at home with you. I find something so comforting in knowing that I can just turn on a camera and hang out with you guys, even if I'm not doing anything inherently exciting. I actually really enjoyed talking to you today. If I don't get my period in the next two days, I'm gonna be shocked. I would say at around like 10 a.m., I started to get bloated and just, if you know, you know, those pre-period feelings. That's been in the back of my mind all day today and especially this evening. I swear, as soon as I finished pottery, my body said, I'm done. Call this pre-preventative work for our skin. Whenever my time of the month comes around, my skin gets really bad. I get random hormonal breakouts. Right now I have one right here and right here. The most random places. I'm gonna put a face mask on. I've never used this face mask. It's the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask. It's so much easier to get out of this pot without having nails on. So much is easier in this life without nails. I also feel like I'm 10 times cuter with a face mask on, which doesn't make any sense. I keep waiting for this face mask to dry. Usually clay masks harden over and you can't move your face. And this one just isn't getting any drier. Do you see the texture of that? That's a thumbnail. I thought it was one o'clock, it's two o'clock. I gotta fix my sleep schedule. I guess while I sit and wait for this to do something on my face, I wanna talk about something that I don't talk about very often, mostly because I feel like I'm not educated enough to do so. But if I didn't talk about anything that I wasn't educated enough about, I probably wouldn't talk very much. A few years ago, I was diagnosed with something called PCOS. It means a lot of things. I'm sure you've heard of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It can happen if you have ovaries and a female reproductive system. It's not fun. The umbrella of symptoms that PCOS can cause is so freaking big. And I would say about a year ago, it was pretty under control. I was getting my period pretty regularly. My cycle was probably longer than the average person's, but I was still getting it within the same amount of days. That is until recently. I have the Flow app on my phone. It says I'm 15 days late for my period, which sounds bad. But when you look at this, you can see my last few cycles, 39, 35, boom almost 60 days. For two whole cycles, they were 60 days. That means over like four months, I got two periods. And then it just went back down to normal, back to 35. And now it's back up really high again. I'm currently on day 58. So it would make sense if I got my period in the next couple days. I definitely feel like I might. But then again, with PCOS, I never know. She could show up anywhere. That was one of the deciding factors in me wanting to learn how to cook at home. And a big reason I wanted to try the 30 days with no fast food. I think I'm just realizing that I could be making better meals at home, even though I'm cooking at home already. I could be trying to make more PCOS friendly meals. If I'm already cooking at home, why not try and make them really help my body and see how I feel? I definitely can tell a change just from not having fast food. Oh, I was having so many chicken tenders, but they were so good. If you 
you've wondered what I've been doing other than cooking dinner ever since you guys last saw me doing pottery, I've been on my bed watching PCOS friendly meal TikToks. I really want to get that under control. I'm curious to see how my body would react. I know diets to treat PCOS can be very intense sometimes, very limiting. With my ED, that doesn't really go the best. In fact, I had to give Samantha my scale today. I don't know if I told you that. I gave her my scale and said only let me weigh myself on Sundays. If I'm gonna be honest with you, with my ED, and I'm pretty sure this can probably go for any EDs, when I start to weigh myself, I weigh myself one time a day, and then it'll be twice a day, and then it'll be three times a day, and then it's after every time I eat or drink. It's been something that has been very toxic in the past. I noticed over the past few days that I've been weighing myself every single day. It's starting to become twice a day. That's not necessarily why I'm doing this challenge. I want to feel better and that will probably mean losing weight. I don't want to fuel my ED. I want to fix my relationship with food so I can break the cycle. The whole point of this year is to break the freaking cycle. Curious to see how that goes. And which may sound dumb. You might say, just don't weigh yourself. Sometimes when you have an ED, it gets a little bit harder than just not doing something. I know I struggle all too well. And unfortunately, I'm sure one of you watching this does too, so. We're all in this together. I don't think this is gonna dry anytime soon. Was it supposed to harden? Yes or no? Was I supposed to rub it in? I'm confused. Now it's changing color. I really feel like if this was gonna dry, it would've. Oh wait, now is it drying? Did I do this wrong the whole time? I bet you've never seen someone so confused over a face mask. If you've used this face mask, please let me know. Ah! I need to get the sweat bands that go around your wrists. That way the water doesn't run up your arms when you wash your face. I don't know if that did anything because I thought it was supposed to harden. Regardless of the outcome, Come, we still put the time into ourselves and that is what matters. There's still a bunch of face mask on, but it's red now. I didn't do that face mask right. Oh well, that's why I'm not a beauty influencer. I'm trying to be better about eye cream. People swear that the first thing to show age is your eyes or something like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might have just made that up. 2012 YouTube taught us that our ring finger has the most gentle pad out of all of our fingers. So that's the one that you use to tap in your eye cream and concealer with. It's the number one rule. I'm even gonna go the extra mile to put under eye patches on. These are probably supposed to be a morning thing, but my skin is so dry. I can do it twice a day if I wanted to. A little lip mask. I'm gonna put some pimple patches on some of my pimples that I'm getting. Alrighty. I could have just went to sleep, but I really feel like me doing this made me 1% better. Like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, my skin's gonna be at least 1% better because I took an extra 15 minutes. Now me choosing to go to bed this late probably isn't making me 1% better, but nobody's perfect. Not even Hanny Montani. You get the limo out front. Ooh -oh. I had a moment yesterday in my kitchen after I got done cooking my crab boil. I was getting a cup out of the cupboard and I grabbed the cup. There was football on in the background and I just thought to myself, this is life. I think I've been dissociating from my own life for so long that when I got this, I sound fucking nuts. When I got this cup out of the cupboard and I could hear football in the background and I was filling my cup up with water, for some reason in that moment, I had the same feeling that I had when I was a kid when I would be at home and I would hear football in the background. I'd be getting a drink or I'd be in the kitchen or something and that is just home. Like it was real and you felt present in it. And I think I realized that I haven't had that feeling as an adult. I knew I disassociated from reality a lot. I said to Sam today that I am I'm pretty sure I like jumped realities last night. It was the first time since I was a kid that I remember that feeling of like home and safety and like life. Like this is life. This feels like real life. I'm having a small little mundane moment. I feel like I'm present and I feel like I'm here, which might actually sound cuckoo bonkers banana nuts, but it's a feeling I don't know how to put into words and I'm trying my best. It was one of those moments where you just felt like you're on the right path and you're going in the right direction and you're doing the right thing. And I didn't need something big to validate that and to make me feel that way. It was just in a small little moment in my life where I was just like, hmm, I'm happy. 
This feels good. I took my water and I sat in the corner of my couch with my feet up watching the TV and it just felt good. I was happy to be there. I was happy to be who I was. I was happy to be me and I was conscious of myself. And as someone who has dissociated for years, it, it, it's a deep issue that I don't really know how to explain because I'm just kind of learning and working through it myself. I believe it was God showing me that I'm moving in the right direction and that the work I'm doing is gonna pay off and I am gonna feel so much better and that it can be different than it has in the past. Like I actually can do it. I've been word vomiting at you guys a lot. This is why I'm excited for my podcast because I'm gonna be able to talk for an hour straight and not feel condemned by your attention span. I'm still using my Stanley. It still fits in my cup holder. There's a TikTok trend right now where you put a venti cup inside of here and it fits perfectly. It'll keep your Starbucks drink cold and it'll sit in your cup holder and it has a handle for you to pick it up in the car. Because of my challenge, I can't go try it, which is annoying. I still wanted to pass that knowledge along to you because I feel like it could be super useful. Okay, it's actually bedtime. I might be the only one that does this, but I like to put on city noise. It doesn't really matter what city it is. This one's my favorite, city traffic sounds for sleep. That sounds so dumb. Like, listen. Tell me why that's so comforting to me. I think that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. I'm so lucky that you guys continue to choose to come and spend days with me. Thank you for being my friend. I wanna know what goals you guys set for yourselves because I feel like all I've talked about in my last two videos are goals that I've set for myself this year. I wanna know what goals you set for you and I genuinely wanna know how you are and how it's going and all of you guys in my comment section are always so sweet and I know a lot of the times you guys are actually hyped each other up and supporting each other so if you need any help with any of your resolutions maybe you have questions for people maybe you're struggling if you're comfortable please share them below not only am I gonna read all of them but I think you'd be surprised at how many people are here to support you I know you guys watch me on the screen but I genuinely feel like we have a strong community of people that you guys are just so sweet and supportive of one another I don't want this to just be focused on me I really want us to truly be a community of people that are here for each other so if you need anything or if you're struggling with anything or even if you just want to tell us what's been going on in your life or how your resolutions have been going comment it below because I would love to read it and I know other people would too we'll be chatting real soon don't you worry I love you guys so much I don't know if I said this earlier but thank you for 700,000 at this point there's 730,000 of you which is just crazy so seriously thank you to each and every single one of you who has either just started supporting me or has supported me for years, I wouldn't be able to be here without you guys. I actually can't fathom what my life would be without you. You mean more to me than you actually realize. I wish I could just hang out with each and every one of you and we could just have time and sit have a coffee and chat. I'm working really hard to try and do more for you guys this year and give you guys content you deserve. I really wanna show to you that you mean a lot to me and that I'm willing to put in the effort for you because I think you're worth it. I could sit and get sappy about it forever, but I love you and I'm excited to hang out with you in my next video. Good night, good night everybody. Ugh. And now he thinks we're gonna play fetch at 2.30 in the morning. Oh,